Hey, same. Severely, you're a bitch. I fucking hate you. Go die. I don't know. I don't even remember you killing me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> kid's upset. I don't. I don't know if I ever killed you. I don't know who you are. What you are. You're, I hate you. Nah, he said he hates me. Rip. I'm in savage mode. Wow. I'm in savage mode. Wow. I'm in savage mode. Wow. I'm in savage mode. All right, well, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears, and thank you guys for all the support and recent videos. Uh, you guys have been absolutely killing it. And actually, I made the best class of the video about a while ago. Honestly, I didn't really realize how long ago that was. I think we had around like 500 subs when I made that video. So <laughs> we've we're about to close it on 1.5k. So there's literally a thousand new eyes potentially on the video so i definitely think that i should probably remake that because i know a lot of you guys in my live stream have been asking you know what i use to get the animal strikes what i used you know to do well in, in every single game and i definitely think that you guys would benefit from this video um i've seen that you a lot of you guys on stream have been asking me that question of what class up do you use you know what do you recommend running what score streaks all that so i think i'm going to dedicate this video to just that and i think i'm actually going to link this video in pretty much in the description of my live stream so every time somebody asks um, I'm pretty much going to direct them to the video. I'll make a nightbot command that just links this video, like best class setups, how to get the atomizer strikes. Because I definitely think this video will be really helpful. Um, probably one of the best videos I'm going to be making on this channel as far as Infinite Warfare goes. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm going to be making a similar video to this when World War II comes out. Because I know a lot of people are going to be asking the same questions. Probably even more considering the fact that it is going to be going on boots on ground. And people might not understand like how to play that or what best class setups to use. So with all that being said, let's get right into the video and for the first class that you guys probably already guessed it it's going to be the nv4 fallout you know the standard you know attachment setup uh extended mag um grip and uh, stock you pretty much want to run that standard class setup with dexterity ghost scavenger dead silence really can't go wrong with this at all my second class that i made with this is going to be the exact same class setup except that i swapped out ghost for um for blind eyes it's pretty much my free-for-all class setup when I decided to use NV4 and free for all, I honestly don't run the NV4 and free for all that much, but it's still a good class setup to run. Um, it gets the job done. It's pretty good. Uh, if you guys, you know, are trying to get deatomizer strikes, your first deatomizer strikes, uh, this is definitely going to be like one of the classes that I recommend that you guys are using, and you probably will end up getting it uh, within like your first or second try. So go ahead and try this out. Second class setup, you guys probably already guessed it as well. It's going to be the N the K Bar 32 Bunker Buster, Elo uh, Grip Quick Draw Silencer, Dexterity Ghost. And scavenger took off dead silence because honestly you don't have enough spots for this. Um, Cable 32 bunker brush with this class setup, absolutely insane. I highly recommend you guys checking this out. You guys see a lot, a lot, a lot of gameplay from me using this exact same class setup. It absolutely slaps. It's really good. You guys saw like a double deatomizer strike, a triple fail with this class setup, uh, multiple nukes and TDM, you know, fast nukes with this. So definitely it is a good class setup. I recommend you guys trying this out and using it. You guys definitely won't go wrong with this class setup. And this, the fourth one is pretty much the same class, except that I have extended mags on this as well. This is gonna be my FFA class setup. Don't really need a silencer in FFA with the K-Bar 32, and I have the Hornet as a secondary, because I am 21st, uh, 21st prestige, so I can get a nuke with the Hornet. So it's a good secondary. If you're not prestige enough to get the nuke Hornet, uh, the, the Hornet with the nuke brand, excuse me, run the EMC, it's pretty good. Um, you guys will definitely find success running uh, this class setup as well. Uh, I just don't have Ghost on because you don't really need it in free-for-all. Dexterity, Scavenger, and Dead Silence. Pretty solid FFA class setup for the uh, for the k Bar 32 Bunker Buster. Class setup after this is going to be the M1. You guys already know how much I like it in using the M1. I like running the M1 with ELO, uh, Quick Draw, Extended Mag, Rifle Barrel, and Stock. Uh, rifle Barrel on this gun makes it a two-shot you know, across the map at any range. This gun is so, so underrated. I highly recommend you guys trying this out. You guys see me using this in literally like almost all my FFA games. Honestly, I love running the M1. It's really good. Even if you can't get a nuke for it, um, I highly recommend running it. When you hit MP20 and get nukes and you're not able to hit uh, nuke with, a nuke damage strike right with this, I highly recommend you guys try it out. Definitely a solid, solid class setup. Really, really good. Um, definitely be able to drop nukes with this. I highly recommend you guys try this out. Uh, really good. It's going to be with uh, Hardline and uh, Dead Silence. Really good class. And after that, the Raw Liberty. You guys already know how much I enjoy using the Raw Liberty. Uh, pretty much for this class setup, you want to run ELO, Grip, Extended Mag, Silencer, and Fusion Mag. Fusion Mag is honestly the key for this class setup. You kind of need the Fusion Mag just because if you don't run the Fusion Mag, um, it's not going to be able to uh, resupply the ammo. So if we want to limit ammo, 
definitely run the Fusion Mag. It's definitely a good, good class setup, and I recommend that you guys use this. You guys will definitely see success running this. Um, <laughs> definitely a nasty class setup. Highly recommend using it. Uh, very, very good. You guys will definitely find success with this. If they actually end up putting a nuke on the raw, you best believe this is going to be the class setup I'm running with that variant. Um, after this, the e red this little e red class, um, really nothing too special. I kind of just throw this on if I decide using the e red just a grip, particle amp, or not, yeah, particle amp, just pretty much a long breath for SMGs. Uh, dexterity, blind eye, hard line scavenger, dead silence, a little, like a sweat FFA class. If I'm playing against someone who's running lethals, just run this class setup. It's pretty good. Um, if you like to swap it out with something else, you can, but the e red is pretty decent. You don't really need that many attachments on it, and that's kind of like why I use the e red and after that, RPR Bazoko, um, it's pretty good. Um, I have the rifle barrel as a suppressor on this class setup as well. Pretty much the same class setup as the e red but I have additional attachment instead of blind eye. I like this gun, it's pretty good. Um, it's really good in free for all, especially if you're just playing against like sweats and you don't really care about getting deatomizer strikes. You, know, you can pretty much win fast games with this. Highly recommend you guys trying this out. Uh, RPR, definitely a really, really underrated gun. Good SMG and Infinite Warfare that not a lot of people seem to be using, but they really should be because it's actually a slapper. And after this, uh, MacTav 45. MacTav is pretty decent. I enjoy using the MacTav. Um, definitely a great class setup. You can swap this out with the MacTav or the OSA. I'm using the MacTav right now because I'm the currently currently in the works of making a video for it. Hope you guys will be enjoying that in the near future. It's going to be a really good one. Um, pretty much the same class setup as the RPR. Um, Everything that you guys can see is pretty much streamlined, copy and paste class setups. That's honestly what you kind of can just do in this game is you can just copy and paste the same class setups for different guns. They work. Um, being consistent is something that I recommend you guys doing, and you guys will definitely find success in Infinite Warfare doing so. Um, final class setup, RPR Fission. I kind of run this in TDM. I've been using it in TDM a little bit. I'm going to have Ghost on here. I uh, took off Hardline just because you don't really need it in Team Deathmatch, but it's really good. Um, I highly recommend you trying this out. Uh, nasty class setup, uh, definitely something that you guys should be using, and you guys will definitely be able to drop DIY strikes, as you guys can see on the channel, I have a lot of RPR Fission DIY strikes, and I hope you guys are going to be enjoying this, I hope you guys, this video is helpful, um, for the score streaks, UAV counter, advanced UAV, doesn't really matter, you can run the Gecko Overseer, I recommend running the Gecko, um, it's definitely a nasty setup, you can run UAV, Warden, advanced UAV, whatever you guys want to run, whatever you guys feel comfortable using, um, I'm running just non-lethals right now just because I need to score and I need to level up quicker. But if you're just, you know, just playing just to get for KD, just run the Warden instead of the, uh, the counter would be pretty good. Uh, you guys will definitely be able to find success with that. And I guess I should maybe talk about the rigs. Uh, you already know, uh, Synaptic, Propulsion, Rewind, uh, Rewind, Rushdown, Phantom, you know, Hide and Senses, Camo, stuff like that. The rig doesn't really matter, honestly. Use whatever you guys want to. Don't run the Striker. Please don't run the striker. It's really annoying. Don't use that. But yeah, hope you guys you know enjoyed this class setup video. That's pretty much gonna be all the class setups that I run in Infinite Warfare and pretty much like how I got the out of my strikes and how I do well in a majority of my games. So yeah, it's been your boy ears. I'm gonna let you guys go with a live face cam the out of my strike after this. Um hope you guys enjoy that. Got this a while ago. Um pretty much using one of my class setups in action. It's with the type two. Haven't I don't have the type two listed on here. But it is pretty decent, but I don't really recommend the Type 2 if you are not, you know, that familiar with the game and you're not that good just because the Type 2 really is one of those guns where you kind of want to use uh, when you get more comfortable with the game. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. It's been your boy Ears, and thank you guys for all the support on the recent videos. You guys have been absolutely killing it. All the support on the live streams, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Oh, my God. Why are all these kids are gonna be at, bro? Like, this is a good lobby. My teammates just don't. I don't know what they're doing. They're playing like fucking virgins. They got a full of six, like what? Oh shit.
I hit the flank over here. I'm gonna act on my combat focus now. I ran out of juice. Where are they at? This is the slowest fucking like slow paced game ever. I should have. Shit. Move, randoms. I gotta be spawning over here. This is so slow paced though, but like, I might even get my rotations down. Fire off the nuke, boys, with type two. You should be able to squeeze this. here should I come around like a, a full on flank one off Put the flank over here and there we go we got the deatomizer strike that's it Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was like the slowest the atomizer strike you guys have ever see. But I mean, type two, um, it's not bad. I mean, there we go. Another face cam the atomizer. Hell yeah, let's get it. Ah, uh, not that bad. Hey, say severely, you're a bitch. I fucking hate you. Go die. I don't know. I don't even remember you killing me. I don't know. <laughs> Kid's upset. I don't. I don't know if I ever killed you. I don't know who you are. You are, I hate you. Nah, he said he hates me. Rip. <laughs>